What's up guys, FrugalBC here. Today I want to talk to you about what the heck is an NFT. What's up guys, FrugalBC here. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps our channel, does all the things. Oh, you know the thing, you know the thing. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to talk about NFTs. Now what the heck is an NFT? That's a question a lot of people might be asking if you hear about it. Does it stand for nifty? Nope. Um, even uh, Pete Davidson of SNL had the same idea. Well, let me answer that for you, Mr. Davidson. I'll tell you what, an NFT stands for a non-fungible token. What does that mean? Basically, it means once you create this one token, it is unique. It's meant to represent an asset and it cannot be copied. It cannot be uh, morphed. It's just once it's created, it's there. So how's it being used? What does that mean? Well, um, NFTs are being created for art. You may have, uh, you may have heard about Beeple, the digital artist. Uh, this is the most recent example. I think that really brought it into a lot of people's consciousness. And Beeple's work is really cool, by the way. I, I, I'll admit I hadn't heard of him before the before his big explosion in the art world and we'll talk about that in a second he's actually from near where i live uh he's not very far he, he grew up not very far away he doesn't live there anymore one day but anyway people uh recently did a auction through one of the auction houses and sold his a huge collection of his artwork for like 69 million i think he gets 55 out of that after all the fees and everything um so that's like that's like the big huge example but actually a lot of people are using it for art for for gifts uh memes all these things and what they're doing is they're actually making decent amounts of money off of some of these things you know so um i've looked into some of the exchanges like OpenSea. there's usually a fee to sign up so you have to make some back to make your money back. But otherwise you can create a token for your artwork and if people buy it, it goes on a, it goes on kind of a marketplace and if people buy it, you get money. And here's the cool thing now, why I think this might be valuable for artists is once it's sold, you get that money. However, if that person sells it to someone else for more money, you get a percentage of that. So, this is a way for the artist to continually make money off their work. It seems like kind of a good idea. You know, if you're an artist, I would think you'd want to do this. So I, I think it's really interesting. Uh, do I think you should invest in these? Um, you know, I, I see them along the same lines of baseball cards. Like, you know, and the whole saying is, well, it's only worth what someone will pay. Um, I think the NFTs have more of a market than, say, baseball cards. Uh, Pokemon cards have been... This is being done with them too, I guess. So I, I get the idea of it, very nice. However, you know, I would I would make it a really small portion of your portfolio if this is something you're interested in. You know, only spend money. Think of it as spending. I would I would think of it as spending, not investing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little look at NFTs. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, again, hit that like button. You can press it gently. You don't have to. Don't have to smash it and I uh, love you for just subscribe so you can tag along. We can talk more. I'm Frugal BC. See you next time.